Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and I am starting off this vlog a little bit late, but that's okay. But I thought I'll be doing a little library haul or like a vlog kind of thing. I have not done those in a while. I thought it'd be fun. I do have quite a stack to get to. I don't know if you can tell. Here it is. But um, if I don't finish my September TV, uh, although it is what it is, um, I will be focusing reading on my library books because they have more of a deadline than my September TV on. But let's get going and see what kind of books I have. So up next is What Must Was Gone by Westerman Hodge. The Hantic Sorcery, Reuben, reads the deadly briar of Unwilled Chaos Palace, casting a royal family into a chant and sleep, and silencing the kingdom's gods. Born with a miraculous gift, Leah's the destinies to kill Reuben and make the royals, but when she succeeds, she finds her deity is not yet complete. For now, she must marry into the royal family and forge a pact with a god or die. This kind of reminds me of Sleeping Beauty in a way because of the whole waking up the royal palace and things like that, even the book cover as well. My next one is The Wine Witch by Luan G. Smith. Never Hex a Witch. For centuries, the vineyards at Chateau Renan have depended on the talent of the wine witches, whose spell have created the world-renowned wine of the Chenevix Valley. Then the skill of dividing harvest fell into ruin when sorcerer Irena Bolognou was blinded by a curse. Now, after breaking the spell that confined her to the shallows of a marshland and winking her magic, Elena is struggling to return her to her former life, and a vineyard she was destined to inherit is now in the possession of a handsome stranger. What can go wrong, right? And my next book is Garden of the Curse by Katie Rose Poole. Since playing the gilded halls of Ever Garden from the muck filled canals of the marshes, Marlon Briggs has made a name for herself as the best curse break in Galarza City. But no matter how many cases she solves, she's still haunted by the mystery of her mother's disappearances. Sounds exciting. Look at the cover. It's so cool. My next one is Kingdom of the Souls by Renata Baron. I feel like I had this book forever on my TV on, so let's see if I will finally able to read it. Born to a family of powerful witch doctors, and Ava yearns for magic of her world, but she fails to read the bones, fails to see the future, and fails to call upon her ancestors. With each passing year, her ambition... Her bets get the crap out of me. Oh, I hate cars. <laughs> with each passing year, her ambition mother looks upon her with ever-growing disapproval. She feels a lot of things. There's only one thing Alma hasn't tried. Child to tell lines in the market train years of their own lives for a taste of magic without knowing how many each mutual will take. That is a sacrifice Alma will never risk until the kingdom's children begin to vanish. Dun dun dun. Alright. My next one is Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland. Kame was warned to never open the black door, but she didn't listen. Of course she didn't, like why else? Everyone has a soul. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some are beautiful gardens, others are frightening dungeons, so walkers like Kaimai and her mother can journey into other people's soul while they sleep. That does creepy yet fascinating. But no matter where Kaimai visits, she sees the black door and follows her into every soul and her mother has told her to never open it. When Kamei touches the door, it is warm and beating like it has a pulse. When she puts her ear to it, she hears her own name whispered from the other side. And when tragedy strikes, Kamei doesn't even think of what she opens the door. Just like how I opened this book. But there you go. And now I have the consequences of reading all these. <coughs> Anyways. <laughs> and my last one is The Lighthouse, Win the Lighthouse Witches by C.J. Cook. There you go. Almost a month. Upon the cliffs of a remote Scottish island, the lawn have one stands a lighthouse. A lighthouse that has weathered more than storms, mysterious and terrible events have happened on this island. It started with the windshine, and now centuries later, islands are vanishing without explanation. Coincidence or a curse? I ain't gonna find out. Whew. So as you can see, 
These are my bad boys for today or for the week or two weeks. I don't know, it will most likely take me two weeks to read these books. So, yeah. Let's start with the lighthouse witches just because of all the mysteries that's in here. So, and then speak, it is a Scottish, so why not, right? I was Scotland. What did you guys do? Did you just guys summon up a demon or something? Scotland is so bloody haunted. It's unreal. <laughs> Alright. Let's start to read. Alright, hey guys, it's 10.26. Um, I read about a third of the book, and um, it is a little bit, a little bit of a slow pace. There are kind of two timelines from what I can see. It's kind of confusing me, especially with the way of how the chapters are labeled. <laughs> So, it's, I don't know, like the time jump just seems a little bit confusing, but, yeah, it is slow, and, I don't know, like, so far the, the mystery is already kicking in, and we, like, we have following our main character, Luna, and she just found her sister, not a spoiler, it's in the book, um, so, she just following her sister, and she just found that in the hospital, so, feel about the situation like it seems kind of off I don't know like something forced I don't know so I'm not really looking forward to that situation a lot of state so yeah it just seems like really weird and awkward I don't know it doesn't really have the nice flow but yeah so that's why I left off um, I'm actually going to go to bed I do have work tomorrow it was so busy today so I need my sleep, <laughs> but yeah, so I will be reading some more for my, you know, after work for tomorrow, but now those are my thoughts for now, like obviously I don't have too much to say because we're not really picking up the pace here, I find it slow a bit slow, and just the timeline, like the timeline overall kind of confuses, and the situation with the two sisters is also really confusing. I'm not quite sure how that works out. So, yeah, we will see from there. Um, but, yeah. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. And then, we will just go from there. Oh, my hey guys. So, I actually finished this book. I don't know how to feel, but like half the time towards the ending, I was kind of confused as to what's going on. I think that part could be a little bit more elaborated. Um, so the plot twist was interesting. Um, so I really liked that part. Uh, I just think it could be fleshed out more. So the characters were quite intriguing, I guess. Like some of them are, and some of them just get on my nerves and could be like careless. There was one specific thing that happened to a character, I'm not sure. As to how it happened and just said what happened to him. I just wanted to know how. So that but never really explained. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Um, I'm probably, I think I'm gonna go to bed at like 12 or 8 a.m. <laughs> so as you can see. Yeah. But tomorrow I'm going to continue and probably read uh, Beyond the Black Door. I'm intriguing. I'm intriguing as to why she can't open that black door. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow.
right guys so i have actually read quite a bit it's only about a third in the notebook um i was kind of expecting it to be a little bit better it's like i don't know like she opened the door which was you know she was supposed to open the door it's not what i expected i had like the usual formula i think standard in every YA fantasy ever it kind of reminds me of Colorville because it has Jack and Scarlet. I think that's one of what the name was. I don't know, like those two characters kind of remind me of each other. I kind of don't like where it's going. Because like now they're just like asking questions and then you know who, like, wants their favorite food. And like, obviously the girl w wants questions about what he is and what's happening and all that stuff. So... It's like the usual formulatic standard in my fantasy. But it's not what I expected when she opened the door. I thought it would be like something dark and creepy and it's just a random dude just chilling and wherever he's chilling at. So I don't know. But um, yeah, I feel like it's kind of like an insta love, not quite. Just, uh, well, I hope it's not, because I don't really see any chemistry between them, so. I really hope they don't fall in love. Because, <laughs> yeah, no. It doesn't seem, like, it doesn't seem necessary for them to be in love. So, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go eat some lunch with my mom, and then, yeah. And that should be it for a little while, so I'm just gonna take a break. And I'll catch up to you whenever. Bye. Alright, you guys. I finished Beyond the Black. Don't three stars. And drag on so much. Hang on. Let me put you here. Alright. <laughs> Let's talk. And drag on so much. I really kind of care what happened. It would have been fine if it ended up in like 20, into the 25 chapters. Now they decided to go at like four or five more chapters. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, it was just dragging non stop. I couldn't care about the info dumping that they had. I was also really confused about the romance because I did not feel any romance whatsoever between the main character and this other person. And so I can really not care less about it. Um, the plot was fine. I think it was fine, but. It was also slow, like, I was so annoyed by Vehan. I don't know how you say the same, Vehan? V-E-H-Y-N. Um, he always like, oh, but you don't, you don't want to know him now, like, every other page in existence. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, just tell already. So he was constantly saying that every single time. Even though you already figure it out. It's quite annoying, really. So, I don't know, man, this book just totally worn me out. So I do want to ha take a break regardless and I probably have to go to sleep soon. It's 10 p.m. right now. I have work tomorrow so that's why I'm going all in to bed. <laughs> well let me know if you go to bed at like 10 30. But yeah I don't know what to think of this book. Like it was dragging on for so long. I just didn't really like that part. And the info dumpings? Holy crap! Why do all the info dumpings come towards the end? I don't get that. That is not a good way to write your book, actually. It just overwhelms your readers, especially if it's like dumped all at once. That is not a way to write it. Let the characters figure it out. Don't just have people telling them what is happening. Like, no, don't do that. And so... I think I actually did that on um, with my very first book, Fire Wave. <laughs> um, but um, that was like, uh, yeah, that was my really only learning experience, if you will. But I think I got better when I wrote the Better Curse, because both like my better reader, she mentioned like how she liked how I got my characters to find the answers themselves, which is how it should be. So I did something right. <laughs> But, my, yeah, my god, did it end with drag. So, after, so tomorrow, you know, after work, I think I'm going to read God Enough to Cursed. I'm hoping it's a short book because, wow, it looks short. So, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it 
it's just uh this book totally intrigued me i was just done anyways guys i will see you tomorrow So I just read a little bit of the book. So I find it interesting, like the magic system, and like they have to pick out these cards to look like a colors. I thought it's really interesting. Um, so far I don't like it, but it's also really slow, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about the pacing. But it seems alright. I do like the atmosphere of the book. I thought it's interesting as well, but yeah, I like I don't have too much to update just because I meant that much. It's not so gloomy, it's gonna rain. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that that's my thoughts for now. Um, you know, just a little bit of slow paste and all that. So yeah, I'm quite interested in how the case is gonna be solved and how they're gonna use the magic. But yeah, we shall see. Okay, hey guys, it's a little bit later. I'm about halfway off the book and whoops. Okay, and I think things are pretty interesting that just meeting Malo and the Black Gold and finally getting together because the Black Gold keep following her around because she wants information about the mother but always but Malo, Malo didn't, doesn't know what her mother is so I mean I don't know for me it's such a short book it only has like 28 chapters it kind of drags a lot. I really do like the magic system, like how they have cards to do certain things. So I like hexes and whatnot. I really like that part a lot. I find it's creative. But the story itself really drags a lot. So I don't know how to feel about it. Like I feel like there's not much information going on. They always ask like the same questions like, Hey, what happened to this? Oh, just kidding, find out yourself kind of thing. So like, at this point, just give us the answers. <laughs> so that's what's happening right now. Um, I don't know how else to feel about it. So it's definitely slow pace, a little bit draggy. It does drag. Some characters are okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I just want the mystery to be answered already at this point like I don't care anymore <laughs> but it's just been dragging so much so I don't know this book is just I don't know <laughs> so yeah so that's the main gem of the book I don't know if I'm gonna read a second book I'm probably there is a second book but maybe hopefully the book will be a little bit longer than this one I think the second book should focus on character development, yeah. but um, yeah, that is a choice of it, <laughs> but hopefully things will be better. Okay you guys, so I am about to finish the book. I think I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. I did like the plot, I did like all the plot twists and all of that in here. The sequence was pretty well done I think. I never figured out like one plot twist, the other one I didn't really see it coming, so 
that's a good sign. Um, the characters I still can't really connect to, but that's okay. I don't know if I'm gonna read a sequel. But um, it's really in an interesting ring. So as I said before, going to like the magic system, I think the world building was okay. But um, yeah, I thought it was a pretty fun read to go to. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I think I might read the Vine Witch. It, it seems short, <laughs> but yeah, I think I just uh, yeah, I definitely gonna see. You know, there's a 3.5 just because there were some parts that kind of drag and then it'll be slow and then infant dump and all crazy stuff which I hate when people do infant dumps just don't do that um, but um yeah so if you take away those part of the book and look into the good it's a really fun read it really was so it kind of felt like a wild goose chase because everyone was just basically chasing after each other, you know, honestly. But, yeah, uh, that was a fun read, so I think I might actually need a fine witch, actually. But, um, otherwise, that will be it. I think I'm going to take a break from reading, actually. But, um, yeah, I was... And then that will be it for today, I guess. So I will see you guys tomorrow. again um, I'm filming multiple videos so you always see the green shirt it is what it is but um ignore the green shirt I'm on chapter 7 just kidding chapter 9 of this book and it's going by so fast I, um it's okay so far like we're just following like this person Sean Paul who bought at Elena's Chateau and Odd, I believe that's what it's called. Yes, and then I think I think there's a kind of wine yard business and with wine, so on and so forth. So, so far, it's, it's okay so far. I don't really mind it that much. Um, it is a little bit slow thing. I don't really see things picking up yet. Maybe halfway of the book. But I am going by super fast with this one, like the chapters are so short, and so, yeah, I'm really impressed how quickly I'm going with it, <laughs> but honestly, not much of an update, I didn't really read much, only a third, so, I think I'll be able to finish this lively vlog, it'll be surprising, <laughs> but, um, yeah. The funny thing, you know how I have my art copy, so I wanted to go to the chapters that they wanted to put my books in. <laughs> so I was in the chapters, and I was like looking through my email, trying to find the email because they want to see it. That's what happened with my other chapters one day. I had to show them to show the proof. <laughs> oh my god, I gave up because I couldn't find the email. I went home, and then just when I got home, I realized I've sent it on my backup email, not my personal. Oh my god, I just don't know. So tomorrow, I'm actually going to my friend at Chinook. It's a huge mall. Um, so, yeah, but we're stopping on the way to the chapters I've been today <laughs> because of that mishap. Ah, <laughs> but yeah, it's hanging stuff, so that's what happened with that little mishap. <laughs> But, I don't know if I'm going to take a little break. It's 8.26pm, so I might take a little bit of a break uh, after I finish chapter 9. But yeah, it's really fast for this read, so who knows?
All right, hey guys, so I actually finished the book. It's almost midnight. I just finished this in one go. Like, yeah, I went like to you guys I was going to take a break. I actually kept on reading it. So, wow. Um, I actually really like this story. It was first 3.5, 4 stars. There were some parts that were kind of dragging on, especially like the second half of the book. So, I really liked the first part of the book. It was, I thought it was entertaining and fun and vibrant. I really liked the inscriptions, but also the second part was kind of torturous in a way. Because it kind of kept dragging. Um, so like, the last time I talked to you, it was like chapter 9, I believe. I kind of already figured out like who was, uh, like the murderer of this book. It was like, about like, chapter 20 at least, that's when I had figured out who the murderer was. So I'm like, oh, that's not fun anymore. So, yeah, um, it was really fun. The characters seemed to okay. I didn't really like Sean Paul. Um, I just find him annoying and conceited and just annoying. There was no question about Raquel or Edmund, I should say. I don't really quite understand his motives. Um, it was kind of weird because we never really get enough clear motives about what he was supposed to do. I also guess the second plot twist, if you will, um, about Yolanda. Um, so that was also not kind of... I doubt not, I was hoping not to guess, but um, it is what it is. Also, this is a French book, meaning it's taking place in, in France. So like, why is Elena Elena? Like, shouldn't that be a French name? And it's kind of confusing, like, Hel like Helene or Helen or something like that, you know, with E at the end or whatever. So it's kind of, the name just kind of throws off, but I did like the magic and I don't know, kind of like when things are about demons. <laughs> I know, um, don't ask. It's the demon in me right now. <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun read, even though it didn't drag it on. I kind of don't like the info dumps at the end. Unfortunately, we still have it, but yeah. But um, I think I'm actually going to bed. It's some, as I said, it's almost midnight, like for 10 minutes to midnight or something like that. So I'm going to go and mean not mean i'm gonna sleep and um, yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow Sometimes to be really flat at times um, and kind of repetitive almost. I do like how she has to learn how to use sorcery to trick people that she can talk to gods, I guess. <laughs> That's how I understand it. Um, but then there's a the whole issue of how that values is like, I'm pretty sure values is the name. Vladia. Yes, Vladia. So she kind of kind of like, oh, we leave the stain hurts or something like that, and that's offending to gods. So, I don't know, I'm kind of having trouble connecting with the characters so far. Um, but as I said before, it is also repetitive. Like the main character, Leah, she keeps saying, I'm not worthy. So and so forth, how she feels betrayed, whatever. She just keeps being repeating, it's kind of annoying. As for Ruben, 
So something happened to him at the beginning and then throughout the book. I'm kind of confused as to what's happening to him. So it's me like a ghost. That's how I understand. So I'm not quite sure as to where he is. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I can kind of see this as a 3.5. I feel like almost nothing really happened in like the first, maybe first third of the book. But right now, some lot of stuff is happening right now. So I don't know. But so far, I can see myself giving it 3.5 stars. But it is sometimes slow. It will be slow pick up, slow pick up. And then it goes like that, so I don't know. We'll see the ending because I'm almost there. I'm at chapter 20 right now, so I think it's like 35 chapters, I think. So I'm not too far off, but um, I might end up finishing today or tomorrow. I'm not sure, depending how much I can read for today. It's 9 18 p.m., so that just means this. And then I will have one more by my book for this walk. And that will be it. I just find Ronnie just really, really rude. I don't know what her problem was. The ending could have been better. I don't know, the ending just didn't really seem right. Like it just felt like point blank, that's it. And like, I'm just not gonna expand on it. I don't know, it just seems so weird to end it like that way. But yeah. Um, so my camera got shut off. I'm having some problems with my memory card. I don't know why it's, what's happening with my memory card. And it's 128 gigabyte. I don't know if that has any reason, but I love it. But anyways, I might need a little bit of Kingdom of Souls. I'm not sure it's my last book. As always, magic comes out of place. <laughs> As we all know from this book that I just read. Yeah, there's some things in this but most of God's kind of been wrapped up nicely, so... I don't know, but I'm excited to read Kingdom of Souls. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so I actually read about 30% of the book. So far it's interesting. We are following the main character and she's like Ava. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's with a double R. So A-R-R-A-H. Ava, I think that's how you say it. Um, she is doing like some kind of ritual because she needs magic. She doesn't have magic. So she wants magic because like there are a monster I guess like who is kidnapping children and she wants to stop it so before any more children are being kidnapped. So I am in my bed <laughs> if you can tell. <laughs> but um that's what's happening so far. I have finished when she has um summoned the witch wolf in order to gain the magic that she needs but in doing so she actually um the magic has to like shave off a few years of her life so I don't know how to feel about that if I have to if I have to do that and I'm and the price is too steep <laughs> but that's why I'm not now so far it, it is a little bit slow just because of how everything is set up. Um, it's just mostly rumors going around right now and yeah so she is determined to find out when this monster is. I'm actually on part two of the book. So this is where I am right now and we'll see how it goes. There is quite two chapters. Um, I think I can make it. I, can, I think I still have enough time to finish it. Also, I would definitely be meeting more tomorrow because it's Friday, so, yeah, all the way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, also ignore my eye. I don't know what's happening with my eye. But I think it's just puffy, and they, I just searched on, like, on the internet, just put eyes. It will probably calm down the infl inflammation that I have right now. So, yeah, that's why my eye looks smaller than this one. But... I'm hoping this will pass, so I don't have to go to doctors. I avoid doctors if I can. I don't mind going to the doctors, but if I don't have to, I don't have to, you know? But it's 10... 
It's 10 20 p.m. so I think I'm gonna go to bed. I feel tired. I'm so so tired from yesterday because yesterday night I went to a concert. Uh, today is Thursday. So it was great. I saw Avril Lavigne. It was my first concert. I know I'm not a concert person so I don't go to a lot of concerts but like if it's my favorite person I will go so my boss was kind of laughing at me because I'm just being miserable <laughs> but I think I'm okay I'm just really tired so I just want to sleep now and I did lost of my voice in the morning it was completely hoarse because of all the screaming that I did last night oh and singing to her song like I'm surprised I still remember her song like actually most of her songs there were a few months I didn't quite know like Smile, I'm with you. I didn't really know too much of the words from there, but um, it's been a long time, you guys. But yeah, so it, it was a fun concert, it was great. I'll probably put some clips here and you know, in short form so I won't get copyrighted. But yeah, so that's the update. Um, it is the bug is low, so I'm hoping in part two it'll pick up because you know we're we are really just witnessing our getting some forbidden magic, I guess, because she doesn't have magic herself. So I'm calling it forbidden <laughs> until further notice. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, hopefully it will pick up. But um, otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Guys, I am so tired. Adios. Oh my gosh. I did fall asleep a little bit. But I finally finished my last book off this haul. I can't believe I actually did it. It's midnight. But Honestly, I'm too tired for this, but I'm not very sure it was dreading on for so, so long. There's no reason for it to be 42. Like, in all honesty, there's just no reason for it to be 42 chapters. It was just info dumping and kept dragging on. They were literally doing nothing until it happens. Sometimes I feel like the Alma was not really sure what she was doing half the time. It might have been just me, but honestly, oh my god, <laughs> I was done. Like, I'm on the 30th chapter, I was just done. I was like, just let me finish this for all. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said before, the first half of the book was really slow. But I think the second part of the book really did made up for it. And so, there was like a lot of actions and actually things were actually happening. In the second half of the book, I think the final panel was okay. Um, I wasn't really quite sure what the mother, she just sh like showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she kind of disappeared for a few chapters, and all of a sudden, she showed up. I'm like, did I miss something? Like, where was she? And so, I don't know about that part, but um, yeah. And there was this one other thing, it was like, well, that guy, Moonjack, like he was with her, with Anna's uh, sister, but like Anna, Anna her was kind of a, what was like upset because um, Moonjack was with her sister, if you know what I mean. So 
So he kept saying, I didn't know that was your sister, which, in all fairness, he actually didn't know, so Anna kind of got upset with it. I'm like, he should not be upset, especially if that junk didn't know that was his sister. Like, I'm sorry, but that was not okay, like, how she kind of treated him. Like, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter if you knew her, like, if he, if he knew Anna so well, like, there will always be one thing that will be similar to your two sisters. And so, I didn't really like how Anna kind of treated him in that sense. Like, no, he didn't really knew. So, I don't know why she was so mad at him. Like, I know why, but like, it just felt off. Like, she had no right to be mad at him. I'm sorry, but she doesn't. Like, she really, he really didn't know who that sister was, so. And from from what I read, I don't think Emma ever told him that he, she had a sister, so it's on her, technically. So yeah, I think the ending was okay. Um, it seemed to be pretty solid and kind of wrapped up what needed to be wrapped up, I guess. So I don't know what the author is going to take from there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue the sequel. Maybe, maybe not. Otherwise, I'll just listen to it as an audio. But, um, yeah, pacing wise, it was kind of backhanded. It was just, uh, back heavy, I guess you would say. But, um, I don't know. It was, the pacing was okay. But, yeah. It, but the book should not have been this long, in all honesty. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Hopefully my eye will get better in a few days. I don't... I think it's just a puffy eye at this point because it's kind of looks swollen a little bit. I did put like a cold clo uh, cloth on my eye. That's what they said when I searched it up. So they said just to leave it on your eyes for a few minutes. So that's what I did. I'm hoping it will go in a few days. But um, otherwise... Let me know how you, let me know how to take care of the puffer eye. So, yeah. But anyways, if you guys like this vlog, um, let me know what book you are reading, and please like, comment, subscribe, so you've been notified every time I post, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.